In this video, I show you how to create a fun Creative Playroom smart light using the Wise Lightstrip Pro. The Wise community is a great place to get ideas for using your favorite smart products in new and interesting ways. I've already had fun using my WiseCam V3 as an IP cam, and more recently converting my Wise Light Strip Pro into Christmas tree lights. With Christmas over, I wanted to find a fun new way to use my lights, and after taking inspiration from other Wise product owners and some fellow YouTubers, I came up with the idea of creating a new smart light for my kids' playroom. The light strip version I bought measures 16 feet 4 inches long. I wanted to come up with a design that would take into account the available length of the strip. I wanted the light to look good and also be able to fit into the available space. After much thought and reviewing the target location and available power sockets, I had the perfect answer. Before starting, I needed some specific items and equipment to realize my vision for the design. Most importantly, I needed materials to create the cloud effect. The suggestion from a particularly helpful WISE community member was to use Fiberfill. Fiberfill is a great option due to the fact it's made of polyester, so it's hard wearing and flame retardant. Not that the light strip emits much heat being comprised of LEDs, but it's nice to have that extra level of safety. Also, after reviewing advice from other YouTubers, a staple gun was a preferred way to attach the Fiberfill to the drywall. Glue would potentially be messy and leave residue should I take the light down in the future, so tiny staple holes would be easier to fix and paint over. The light strip already has an M3 sticky strip, so attaching it to the ceiling would be very straightforward. The trickiest part of the design would be locating and drawing a perfect circle. Luckily I remembered the math I learned at school. I knew the length of the Wise Lightstrip Pro was 16 feet and 4 inches and that would be the circumference of my circle. So now I needed to figure out how to locate the correct position in the centre of the circle in the room. With some quick measurements of the dimensions of the space I sketched some lines on the ceiling and intersected them to find the exact location. One challenge I thought I was going to have was running a suitable extension cable to connect the light strip to a power source. But as luck would have it, there happened to be a handy power socket behind the Playroom TV, which was close enough to run the included light strip power supply up the wall and along the ceiling. With that settled, I knew I had the location of the middle of the circle. I've watched enough DIY crafts channels to realize that using a piece of string and a pencil would be the low-tech way to draw the circle I wanted. To calculate the radius of the circle, all I'd have to do is divide the circumference by pi to get the diameter and divide the diameter of the circle by 2 to get the radius. Then, cutting a piece of string to the same length as the radius, I could attach one end to a drawing pin and then a pencil to the other. I could anchor the string and draw a circle to give me a guideline for laying the light strip. It's worth noting I didn't get it quite right. Somewhere along the way of laying the light strip, I ended up with it overlapping slightly, but thanks to Fiberfill, I was able to hide my mistake and nobody would know the difference. Once attached to the ceiling, the last step was attaching the Fiberfill to look like clouds. My personal recommendation is to use Fiberfill in bigger clumps than you think you'll need. It's easier to take away from the clumps than trying to add to them later. Should you want to thin them out, you can tease out parts of it to reduce the volume to suit to your personal taste. Plus my other tip to avoid puncturing the light strip with the staple gun is to use your finger to space the staples at least one half inch away from the strip. The fibre fill will obstruct your vision as you're going, and using your fingers to feel and use as a spacing guide is the safest way to avoid accidentally destroying the light strip. The setup for the WISE app is very straightforward if you're installing your light strip for the first time. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. When connected, all you have to do is tap on the light strip icon and you'll be presented with three options to control the light. The design tab gives you some basic color control for the entire length of the strip. Scenes gives you some preset options for settings like night light through to super bright for energized. And the third tab is music, and it's the most fun option out of the three. Here, you can animate the way the LEDs behave. The LEDs will use the phone's microphone to transpose the audio it hears into light patterns. You can also adjust the specific portions of the light strip that will be animated, plus the sensitivity to the sound input. After reaching out to Wise on Twitter, I learned that they're also working on options to animate the light strip without the need for music, which will be a welcome addition in the future. Thanks for watching and as always please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.